What's going on guys, it's Bill Noguera from OneTrueAccess.com Now, here I am to show you the part 5 of the top and tips and tricks on top and hold on Windows Phone 7 devices Now for the let's continue looking at the Zoom Hub, what I left off Now, here's the Zoom Hub Um, how to get more songs from your artist even though you don't have them on your on your device Now, top of music and for this, let's just go by songs. Let's go by songs. Now, pick any mm -hmm. artist that you like. Let's say, it's, all right, pick any song. Now, here the, on the song, remember this, guys. To all right, once you, all right, all right, guys. Now, once you have the song playing, you know, pause it, whatever. Now, here on the top, you're gonna see the name of the artist and the album top on it. Once you tap on it, you're going to see all the list of albums in your collection from this artist. Now, once you reach all the way to the bottom, you're always going to see a marketplace button with little arrows pointing down. That means download from the marketplace. Now, you tap on it. That means you're not downloading nothing. That means you're going to see what's available from your artist on the marketplace. So, if you have the Zoom Pass or if you just would like to buy a song, it's up to you. So let's say this is other albums that is there. Let's say tap on the album. Oh, once you tap on the album, you're gonna see the album, and you're gonna see all these songs in this album. Now the songs are listed by price. Price is you know 129 per each song on this album. But if you want to buy the whole complete album just for 9.99, so basically if you buy the whole album, it's cheaper than buying song by song, you know. Let's say you buy six, seven songs, you're already it's already nine dollars. So might as well pay, pay nine 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 ninety nine and buy the whole album and get all the songs here, which is more than ten. Now, um, it's easy as this, guys. So preview the song here, tap on a little play, and you will preview a song from the album that you are currently watching. I mean, you know, viewing. Now. Go back. Let's say that's the song you want. Okay. You either buy by tapping and holding. You have this menu. This is the buy the song. Or you can share the song. If you say buy this song, it's either two options. If you have the Zoom, um, the Zoom pass, is automatically yours. But if you don't have it, you could just pay a dollar twenty nine with the same account that you used to buy applications at the Windows Marketplace. Now let's say um I know a friend of mine who loves this song or this artist top share and it will give you options you know with your Hotmail account your Outlook or by text messaging either or you know you you decide what to do then from here on I know you know what to do in sharing now let's go to our second tip for this video another tip guys. You guys all know that if you have your device locked, even with a password and off, you can launch the camera options. All right, that's something that you already know, right? Just by holding this button over here, hold this button for a long three seconds, it will vibrate, and whatever, you take a picture. Now, once you take a picture, let's say, let's take a picture of my laptop. All right, let's take a picture of the mouse. Now, if I try to go back, now if I try to go back to see, I can because why the device is locked. The device was only unlocked to take the picture and picture, and that's it. Now, over here, you see this lock icon. Now, once you tap on the lock icon, it's going to bring you back to the screen. Now, you put your password. I'm sorry, guys, you can't see my password. And it's unlocked, and now you are back on the camera. And you can just easily swipe back and see the picture you just took. So it's easy as that. Now let's go to our next to our next tip. Let's go to emails. All right. Uh, so I got this email from Facebook. Uh, let's say whatever I want to reply. Now here in the reply menu. All you're going to see is to Facebook and the subject. To is to the person you're going to send the email to. The subject and this is the body of the message. 
Now, how do you add a CC or BCC? So it's easy as this. You tap on this little three arrows here for for options. Show CC and BCC. If you tap on it, now you have more options here. Now a CC. If you see CC here, you can start typing a name. You know, um, any name on your contact, and basically it will search your contacts. And if you have any friend or whatever appears with the email here, you got to do is tap on it, and it will be added. Or if you like, you see also the little plus button here on the side. Plus button, tap on it. It will take you right back to the contacts, and you can just search contacts by email. Now everything is sorted here by email. So if a contact of yours doesn't have an email, it's not gonna show in this option here. So tap on an email, tap on the person's name. It will automatically add the email link to this person and add it to the CC. Also to the BCC. Now the BCC doesn't show the little icon but you could do basically the same thing and you do that and you know select and send so that's how you add a CC and a BCC for your email account now many people um know that we could save basically as soon as you take a picture you can save it and put it on Facebook or to SkyDrive but then a lot of people ask me I just see the option upload to SkyDrive how do I add it to Facebook guys this is right on your face so let's say let's go to one of my pictures let's see on the camera roll ah let's make a picture of my salad I was eating so now you, you have the picture here now you tap on the options that is true. You're gonna see it's upload to SkyDrive. Add to favors, delete, share, use those wallpaper and extras. Now, how to upload this picture to Facebook is basically go to share. Once you tap on share, now you're gonna see the option. Here you go. Met, um, message this picture, email it with Hotmail, email it with my Outlook account, upload to Facebook. So here is the option you've been looking for. Upload to Facebook, upload to SkyDrive. Once you tap on upload to, upload to Facebook, it's not going to give you any more options on which album do you want the picture to go to or nothing at all. Once you tap on Facebook, it's going to upload automatically to mobile pictures on Facebook. So that's the only album it will go to. It doesn't give you the opportunity to upload it to, let's say, a friend's picture, party pictures, or anything like that. It goes automatically on mobile, on mobile uploads on your Facebook albums. So that's how you get. That's how you upload a picture to Facebook, guys. Let's say you have a contact that has two. Or three Facebook pages. Let's say it has one for everybody, and it has also and it has also another page for just private people or close friends. So let me show you how to link your Windows Live contacts to more than one Facebook page at the same time. So now let's go to my friend, my friend Shabon. Now she just she has a two, three Facebook pages. I have no reason why. I just use it as an example. Now I'll tap on it. Here in the middle, you're going to have the link button, like a little chain. Now, tap on it to link. Now, if it's the same name, now it will, give, it will suggest your links. Like, it will suggest you people from Facebook that you can link to this person. So, basically, tap once. Now, it's linked to this person. If you want to keep adding more people, more people, you can just add the second one, add the third. Now all these three accounts are linked into one contact. And here it is. Now once you tap on what's new, if you tap on what's new, it's gonna give you the feed of what's new for all three Facebook accounts in one. So that's how you tap more than one account to your Windows Live on contacts. So well guys, thanks for watching. This is Bill Nogueira. Um Stay tuned because I will um, launch part 6 and part 7 within hours. I'm just going to do at least 5 more parts on um, tips and tricks on typing hope for Windows Phone 7. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, Make sure you visit us at wantroaccess.com. Also, we launch a new page. It's called theimovie.com. Check it out, guys. It's a pretty nice page. You can just go watch movies online um, and support us. Share this video with your friends. Post it on your Facebook, Twitter.
just help us out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.